A year ago, making a realistic talking avatar took hours. Now you can even do it with Canva. In this video, I'll show you how to use an app inside Canva to create AI avatars that talk, move, and more. Whether you want a digital twin, a virtual spokesperson, whatever, this is one of the easiest ways to make it happen. Check this out. Canva just got an upgrade. Now your avatars can talk thanks to Hey Jen. You can change the voice, accent, and tone. It's like giving your avatar personality settings. Now I'm inside Canva, and what I'll do first is come right over here to YouTube video or video and click on that, and then I'm gonna click on landscape. So this is just what I'm used to. Now you could do this using other kinds of templates too, but since I work with video so much, this is just my usual choice. Next, I'll click here and go over to apps, and I'm gonna search for avatar. Let's see what we can find. There's a lot of different ones here, but for today, I wanna to use this one called Hagen. All right, so I'll click on that, and now it's opened up this new app. If you've never used Hagen before, it's basically a software where you can make all kinds of talking avatars, influencers, etc. So for example, if you wanna see some of the ones they already have loaded, you can click here and see they, some of what they offer. Different people, different clothing types, guys or girls, and in different poses. So you can pick any of these, male, female. You can also use some photos here that have that are already inside the app. You can also upload your own picture. But first, I've got to connect my account here inside Canva to use this. So let's do that first. So I'll click here to connect. OK, so now it says I've signed in successfully. Nice. So once you've done that, let's go back over here to upload and I'll choose this one. Okay, there she is. So I'll click there to choose her. Now you can choose either the more rectangular view or the rounded one. For now, I'll just choose the rectangular. Let's work our way on down. For the script right here, I'm going to grab something that I've already got typed up. I'll just grab this for now from ChatGPT. I'm just gonna put it right there. And then I'll come right down here and listen to the voices. Okay, now I'm gonna pick this voice and listen to it. Okay, so that sounds good. So let's just double check real quick. So we've got our image, the mode that we're gonna use, our text, we've chosen the voice and listened to it, and now it's time to generate. And just look at this real quick to make sure you've got uses here in Canva. For now, I'll click on generate video. Now it's making it. Okay, so it just finished. That took roughly 45 seconds, so pretty quick. So we can look at it right up here. All right, so click here. It'll add it to the page right there. Okay, there it is. Now I'll show you something we could do with it while we're here. That looks pretty good, her mouth and everything. Let's try using background remover and see how it works. I think for right now though, I'm just gonna duplicate it just to be safe. And I'll take this one, click on background remover. Okay, let's watch. So we're missing just a little bit right here around the edges, but not too bad. So let's go back here for a second and let's look for videos and let's search for background. That one will work and add it to the page. Next, I'll go to position, layers, and I'm gonna move this behind it. So now you can see she's on top of it. Let's play it and watch. Okay, so that was good. So let's just go ahead and right click there and split the page and delete that. So now we've got two versions. So the good thing about this is we can always take her and we can put her pretty much anywhere we want on the page. We can also put any kind of background we want behind there. So that's a really good thing to know. So let's go back to Hey Jen over here. So let's make one more. I'm gonna choose that. This time let's use one of these. I'll do something a little different. How about this lady? No, let's use a guy for a change. I'll pick him. Click on use. So he's highlighted and let's pick the circle one and add some more text. Okay, get rid of that and put the new text there. Okay, and this time I'll choose this voice and click use. So I've got the picture chosen and the view mode. I put in the text. If you wanted to, you could also, you could upload an audio file here if you wanted to. But for now, I'm just gonna choose text and a voice. Then once you've got everything done, then just click generate. Down here, it tells you how many you have left to make. Okay, now it's finished, so let's click here to see it play. Now 
nice. I like the way he sat back in his chair and had some expressions. So I'll leave it on here and I'll click to add the design. Canva will put it right over here. Very cool. Add a few things to this and this would make an amazing video business card or something like that. You could put your information over here, download it as a video and send it out to people as a video business card. That would be just a really cool idea. Let's do one more since we have one more left. So this time we'll do something different. This time I wanna pretend that I'm making something for me. I wanna make a digital me, right? And this is not me, but I'm gonna pretend that it is. Remember, this could be you if you wanted to do this for yourself. So you'd upload your picture and make this fill up the whole page. I'm gonna use Magic Expand to make this fill this whole page. I think I like that one, so I'll take it. Click Done. All right, now we're gonna download it. So let's click on that. And here on the text, remember, we could have uploaded an audio file if we wanted to, but for now, I'm just gonna use text I already have. Change this. Okay, so I've got our image, the view, the words. Now let's choose the voice. I'll choose this one, but I'll click here to listen. Yes, that'll work. Then click generate video. All right, and now it's gonna put it right there. So we'll wait till it comes back. Okay, here's the finished product. Okay, that worked pretty good. So add it to our page here. So I'll click here and make it bigger. So just imagine what you could do with something like that. You could talk about your product or an upcoming event or whatever you wanted to. Really, your avatar is doing all of it. One thing you could do is record your own voice or even clone your voice and make it say whatever you wanna say. Then click here to upload it. And I did wanna show you the thing I was talking about earlier. Remember the video business card idea? What if you were to make something like this? And this is even a moving one. When you come to Canva, you could always click on elements and go to business card and you can find different things, especially in the design templates. So you could put your avatar in there like that, or you could take some of this other information and put it on this one if you wanted to. There's a lot of different things you could do. So just a few ideas to make you think about what you could do with these, whether you're making a digital influencer or something. And all that was done using Hey Jan Insight Canva. If you really want to use it and you're going to use it a lot, I would definitely suggest you even come to their homepage and sign up for an account because this is going to be much more full featured and have a lot more things you can do and you wouldn't be limited to just a few like the ones I just made, right? But this is a good place to come and learn how to use it. There's a lot of different use cases when making your own talking avatar and hopefully some of these ideas will be something you can use yourself. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, Subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.